Hey, everybody. I hope you're filled with gratitude today. I wanted to share my thought for the day as well as something I'm grateful for and something I'm excited about. And today's thought is around judgment. I recently had a great conversation with a gentleman by the name of TJ Woodward from Conscious Recovery. And we were talking about judgment and how do we get ourselves to stop judging? Because frankly, that little voice in our head is always going. And as soon as we take that judgment and then try to fight the judgment or try to deny that it's there, it just gets stronger and it actually just creates more barriers to the connection that we're trying to achieve. So what TJ was suggesting when it came to the judgment is let's get curious about why we're judging this and why we're judging a person the way we are. Sometimes those judgments are coming from insecurities that we have or experiences that we have, but not necessarily relating to that individual person or that situation. And it's really creating a block to you being able to have the connection or the relationship that you may really want with somebody else. So next time you find yourself in a situation where you may be judging and a good way to do that is just kind of look around. And when you start feeling sensations in your body, like anxiety or fear or a little nervous around certain people or a certain person, certain situations, that is a situation where you're judging. And that may be a subconscious or a conscious decision, but step inside, take a little look inside of you and get curious as to why you're feeling the way you do. And look into it a little bit deeper. It'll really be a big help in overcoming these biases that we have. And hopefully we'll be able to remove some of the roadblocks that we have in connecting with other people. It's something that when he brought to my attention, I started to look more introspectively at things and at people and situations, maybe in a different lens. And it's done real wonders for me. So I wanted to share that with all of you guys as well. As far as something I'm grateful for, yesterday was the 4th of July. And I got to spend the day preparing a delicious meal on my smoker for the family and for a couple friends that came over. I love having the opportunity to create get-togethers for people to connect and have a good time and enjoy good food. And yesterday was just perfect for that. So I'm very grateful for that. As far as something I'm excited about, I am going on a trip this week to Chautauqua, New York with my wife. We're going to see a concert and we haven't been away together on a non-business trip for a really long time. And I'm very excited to have that time with her. And one last thing, by the mid to late July, we're going to be releasing our new podcast. The podcast is going to be on best practices for your business to improve your efficiency, to improve your clients' outcomes, or to improve your life. If you want to know a little bit more about the episodes or what's coming out, check the LinkedIn for Hatch Compliance or my LinkedIn. You'll also be able to find that on the Hatch Compliance website. If you have any interest in being on the podcast and sharing some of your best practices, I'd love to have you. You can direct message me here or you can go through our website. I hope you have a great day and I look forward to catching up with you next week.